musician, bluffing it as a, as a tour manager. <laughs> He's actually a great tour manager and a great musician. It's not often you find that combination. But in this instance, it's true. And uh, I wrote this. <laughs> That's just not to put you under any pressure or anything, Brian. <laughs> I, uh, I wrote this one for a friend of mine, Frank. I sometimes ask people, what, 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 uh, if you had a wish, you know, what would you wish for? Would you wish to, I don't know, win the lottery or wish that your husband was dead or something? You know? <laughs> they come up with different things, you know, when you ask that question. It's interesting what people say. And uh, my friend Frank said, um, from the north of England. Oh, Dave, you know, I wish I were a young lad again with my best friend, Billy Crow. The mischief we used to get up to, you know, if he had matches, I knew there'd be bonfires in the parlour. <laughs> I mean, who talks like that? <laughs> I mean, bonfires in the parlour, that sounds like a site from 1824, doesn't it? It's lovely, grand, but... So I thought, well, I better have that for a song, that's it. That's just a gift. You know, the universe has given that to me, so I thought I'd have a crack at a song called Me and Billy Crow that I wrote in Frank's voice, so to speak. And he goes something like this. With a little help from my friends.
Thanks for coming and what have you, and I'll see you in about 10 or 15 minutes. Thanks so much.